coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. SpaceX's Crew Dragon safely splashes down. The U.S. Navy's first black female tactical air pilot earns her wings of gold. And Sporties launches their second aerobatics course with Patty Wagstaff. I'm Sophie Herlock. SpaceX's crew Dragon Endeavor carrying NASA astronauts Robert Benkin and Douglas Hurley safely splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico yesterday at 2.48 p.m. after being docked at the International Space Station since May 31st. This is the first time a commercially built and operated American crew spacecraft has returned from the International Space Station to complete a test flight, marking a new era in human spaceflight. As I look back on the, the mission that we've had here on the International Space Station, I'm proud to have been a part of much of the science activities that happened over the last two months. The view is always amazing, though. I didn't think I would do another spacewalk, and uh, to now have the chance to have done uh, four more was just uh, icing on the cake for a, a, a wonderful mission. Splashing down to Earth under parachutes, Crew Dragon was secured and hoisted onto the GO Navigator Recovery Ship's deck to ensure it was safe for the recovery effort. Once on board the recovery ship, the astronauts were taken out of Crew Dragon to receive medical examinations before being flown by helicopter to Pensacola. During their 62 days aboard the space station, Benkin and Hurley spent more than 100 hours of time supporting the orbiting laboratory's investigations, participating in public engagement events, and supporting four space walks in which Benkin and fellow astronaut Chris Cassidy installed new batteries into the station's power grid as well as upgraded a number of hardware. All of this effort was part of NASA's commercial crew program, which aims to work with the aerospace industry to achieve safe, reliable, and cost-effective transportation to and from the International Space Station, allowing for additional research time and helping astronauts prepare for exploration of the Moon and Mars. This is SpaceX's final test flight, and is providing data on the performance of the Falcon 9 rocket, Crew Dragon spacecraft, and ground systems, as well as in orbit, docking, splashdown, and recovery operations. Additionally, the test flight will help certify SpaceX's crew transportation system for regular flight carrying astronauts to and from the space station. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Last Wednesday, Boeing President and CEO David Calhoun sent a letter to Boeing employees addressing the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the aerospace market. In the letter, Calhoun states that Boeing will have a slower ramp up in 737 production than previously planned, with a gradual increase to 31 per month by the beginning of 2022. Additionally, 787 production rates will be cut to 6 per month in 2021, and while 767 and 747 rates remain unchanged. In light of the current market outlook, production of the iconic 747 will be completed in 2022. However, Boeing will continue to support 747 operations and sustainment into the future. 
Less than a year after making an agreement for six Pilatus PC-24s, the first aircraft for the Swedish Air Ambulance Organization took off from Buok Airport in Switzerland for its maiden flight, boarding the national colors of Sweden on July 22nd. The medevac PC-24s will help the organization provide advanced medical assistance and access to fast, professional aeromedical care to everyone living in Sweden. The rest of the organization's aircraft are scheduled for delivery in 2021. Due to the uptick in COVID-19 cases in Florida and the pandemic's effect nationwide, Skydive Zephyr Hills, with support from the United States Parachute Association, has decided not to host the 2020 USPA Skydiving and Parachuting Nationals, which were scheduled to take place October 30th through November 21st. The decision also came after reviewing more than 450 responses from recent competitors, in which they expressed concerns over health risks, travel, government restrictions, finances, and the ability to train. The USPA board is still considering what options they have left for 2020, and will provide an update on the future of the event as soon as possible. In response to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on commercial aviation, GoGo is eliminating 143 full-time positions predominantly from the company's commercial aviation business. The reduction will take effect on August 14th and represents approximately 14% of the company's overall workforce. In addition to the workforce reduction, GoGo will continue certain furloughs and maintain the salary reductions that were previously implemented. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Lieutenant Junior Grade Madeline G. Swegel, the U.S. Navy's first black female tactical air pilot, received her wings of gold last Friday during a small ceremony at Naval Air Station Kingsville, Texas, marking a significant milestone for naval aviation. Swegel is assigned to the Red Hawks of Training Squadron BT-21 under Training Air Wing 2 at NAS Kingsville and completed her final undergraduate TAC Air training flight in a T-45C Goshawk Jet Trainer aircraft on July 7th. Amidst the Navy's response to the global pandemic, instructors and students adjusted to COVID-19 spread mitigation measures, including sterilizing surfaces, wearing masks, and social distancing when practical. Despite these challenges, this is the largest graduating class of strike aviators in almost a decade. Chief of Naval Air Training, Rear Admiral Robert Westendorf, stated, We are all incredibly proud of Lieutenant Junior Grade Swegel and the entire class. This is a wonderful personal achievement, but also a testament to their dedication and drive to succeed in the tactical air training pipeline. I wish them all every success at the next level of learning to fly our fleet aircraft. Five months after announcing a partnership to develop online aerobatics training, Sporties and Patty Wagstaff have introduced their second course, Basic Aerobatics. This detailed course is a great complement to in-airplane training and explores three essential aerobatic maneuvers, loops, rolls, and spins in all their varieties. In Basic Aerobatics, viewers will fly a super decathlon over the beaches of St. Augustine, Florida for a detailed look at everything from basic loops to hesitation rules. Wagstaff explains every maneuver step by step, complete with sophisticated animation and tips for better technique. She also answers frequently asked questions and provides solutions to common errors. The course presents techniques for each aerobatic maneuver when in an airplane without an inverted fuel and oil system, making it the perfect course whether you are flying a high-performance show plane or a Cessna aerobat. Basic Aerobatics with Patty Wagstaff is available for $99.99. You can also purchase Volume 1 in the series, Intro to Aerobatics for $49.99, or bundle both courses for $129.99. 
And that wraps up our show, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day. I hope you had a great start to your week. I'll see you again on Wednesday.